Well, hello everyone. This is Dr. Eileen, and this is Medicine Walk. And for those of you who are listening in on Blog Talk Radio, this is Healing House Radio. So uh, we finished up. Hold on, just a second. Let me just make sure. Okay, just had to make sure the camera was working all right. Um, so we finished up our uh, part on Earth Magic, and I wasn't quite sure where I wanted to go for this month's topic, and in the spirit of March and renewal and rebirth and spring and, and all of those things, I felt like I wanted to discuss the aspect of spirituality and faith in magic. And for those of you who know me, you know that I am a reverend and also president of the Universal Church of the Master. And if you want to find out more about that, I'll have a link in the description. And the fact that spirituality plays a huge role, not just in my life, but in the work that I do, in the energetic works I do, in the, in the magic that I do. Because I feel it's really important to be able to understand that what we do comes through us. It, not, it does not come from us. And, and let's put the disclaimer, I am not, you know, supporting any particular faith or belief. Whatever you believe, if it gives you peace, if it helps you walk in this world in a really good way, um, I'm happy for you, and I love it for you. And that's fine. Uh, this isn't about looking at what type of spirituality incorporates with magic, just the way that a belief system can really enhance your capacity to work with energies. So, um, up front, if there's anyone who is offended by anything I say, please forgive me. There's absolutely no intention to offend. And if you have questions or if you have an issue with anything I say, please post it in the comments. And, you know, we can create a dialogue about it. But this month, we're going to be really focusing on where the energy comes from. How do we incorporate that, our connection to whatever higher being, force, consciousness, whatever. How our connection with that helps us to be able to do the works that we want to do or to do the works that we would, that, you know, we want to bring in, whether it's healing, whether it's messages, whether it's um, you know, working with the environment, working with weather, working with uh, with earth and uh, or sky or, or or whatever it is that you want to do. So um, I was raised Catholic, and you know that was a good thing, and um, I loved the tradition. I loved the ritual, and you know there were aspects of it that really resonated with me. Now, there were certain aspects that, you know, maybe didn't resonate so much, but I still honor that as my upbringing, and it was very important to my mom, who was the world's most adorable Catholic. And she was kind, and she was open, and, and she always supported that each one of us was perfect, and that ultimately it's between us and Creator. You know, I say creator, you say God, or however you want to word that. But for her, you know, she just said, you know, well, bottom line, it's between me and God, what I believe, and that's who I answer to. That's who I, you know, I speak to. And so, you know, she was, she was very devout in her beliefs. And as I said, being raised in that tradition, you know, it was just kind of a given, you know, you sort of went through the whole, the whole, you know, system and, and the traditions and all of that. And as I got older, I, you know, kind of questioned and rebelled and, you know, and wanted to find my way. And because I felt that while there was a lot that worked for me, there were some things that didn't. And so there were questions I had. And you know, it just became that journey within myself, and, you know, I, I kind of looked into a lot of different things, and ultimately just kind of felt, well, you know, I'm just, 
I'm just me and I'm here and in the world and you know I'll figure all that out at another time and so I really you know didn't have a very strong spiritual base for many years and then I you know married I became a mother and if anything can bring somebody closer to the idea of wanting a, a some sort of cosmic being helping you it's becoming a parent <laughs> because you call on a lot of help in that case and um, it is you know just sort of you know it, it kind of came back around and and um, I sort of dipped my toes back into spirituality but I really didn't know what I really didn't have a clear idea as to what I was looking for and quite honestly you know there were deaths in my family um, my dad passed then my sister passed then my mom got sick and she passed so I did spend some time thinking you know what this no I, I am not buying into the you know that there is anything out there looking out for me or who cares about me and I am you know because of all these bad things that happened and so I kind of had to go through a little bit of a journey myself and that journey ended up leading me to um, to one opening a doorway into a spiritual tradition uh, someone kind of fell into my life that was able to begin that journey as my teacher and so you know I kind of ex began re-exploring what spirit meant to me and for each person that's unique for each person that's different and for me it became that idea that this was where the source of the energy is this is where the you know it, it's because I knew that the energy didn't come from me because growing up empathic meant that I just figured that everything I did I was I sort of was an intuitive healer you know I, I just wanted people to feel better and my theory was if I drew whatever was bad in them into myself then you know well then I could be a healer then I could help them and they felt better but I felt lousy but they felt better and to me that was all that mattered so I did that for a very long time and it was draining and it was exhausting and it would leave me I, I really wasn't good at clearing at that point so I was carrying around a lot of other people's yuck and so I ended up uh, in the process of learning about these traditions in the process of well in some cases relearning and in some cases like just having things awaken inside of me I realized that there was a connection to something else that when I would go into a meditation and I would feel energy the energy wasn't starting with me so I became interested in exploring more about where I felt that that energy was coming from and you know different things happened in my life different things presented themselves where I ended up needing to be able to count on something because you know I reached a place where I was exhausted I reached a place where I couldn't do it anymore and I I remember it was during a time that you know my sister had passed away and I was helping to take care of her two children who were living with my mom and my mom ended up developing you know my sister passed from breast cancer she was diagnosed at 28 and she died at 34 and shortly after my sister died my mother found lumps in her breast and you know ultimately she died from it and in taking care of her and then taking care of everybody else and I was also had my own kids and I was in chiropractic college and you know there was a lot going on and a lot of just where my energy was just going out going out going out but I wasn't drawing anything back I wasn't tapping into anything I felt like no I've got to do all this alone and I remember one night I was particularly exhausted 
You know, I was I was running around and taking care of everybody and visiting my mom and spending time with her and you know and then taking care of everybody else. And I just hit the wall. And we all have that time when we hit the wall and it's just too hard. It is too hard to go on. It is too hard and you're too tired and you're too grieving and you know that's where I was at I was at a place where I was just grieving so badly for the losses that I had and for the loss that was coming up I mean you know my mom and I was just frustrated and I remember one night I was laying in bed and I thought to myself and I put the thought out there and it had been a long time since I prayed. And in that moment, I said in my mind, if there is anything out there, if there is anyone out there, if there is a God out there, and if you ever, ever, ever had a single ounce of love for me, I won't wake up tomorrow. And as the thought came out, it was like, whoa. But in that moment, I was just, I wasn't thinking clear. I was very emotional. And I just laid there thinking, I can't do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to grieve another person, you know, leaving my life. Yeah, and so I wanted to just be turned off. I wanted just not to wake up. And after I voiced that and I laid there, there was this tiny little voice that came up that said, but you have to wake up because something amazing is going to happen tomorrow and you don't want to miss it. And so I fell asleep and of course I woke up. And I guess it was a mixture of relief and disappointment because I guess if I hadn't then at least I would have known that there was something there but that little voice that came in just kind of kept staying in the back of my mind something amazing is going to happen tomorrow and you don't want to miss it and I was wondering well does that mean my mom is going to be spontaneously cured or healed does that mean that I'm going to be able to you know just you know life sparks out of my fingertips is everything wrong in the world going to be great so I went through my day and I went to school and I took care of things and I went and visited my mom and, and everything stayed the same and as I finished the day I was thinking to myself well nothing amazing happened today and then I heard my sons giggling at each other you know in the next room and I suddenly realized they were amazing and they were a gift and we were all there together and that I did have another day with my mom and I did have a lovely visit with her and all of a sudden it kicked in life is amazing my life is amazing and I always wondered about that little voice that said you know that that said that I had to wake up. I don't know, was that God? Was that a spirit guardian? Was it, you know, whatever it was. And I carried that with me. And later on, when I began my, sort of my journey on this part of my path, and, um, you know, I started formally learning things, there was always that piece of, you know, feeling that somewhere something was smiling and was happy for me and wanted me to learn and wanted me to grow. Now, like I said, whatever you believe, however your traditions carry you or whatever gets you through the day or through the night or whatever, that's yours. And honor it and love it and be it and embrace it because that's you. That's your relationship. What I'm sharing is about mine. And the more I tapped into those energies, the more that I tapped into all of what was around me, there was always that, that little familiar 
feeling that familiar presence that was always there now I acknowledge it as my sense of spirituality it's it's my faith it's the one thing that I believe my mom wanted to instill in me more than anything else was to believe to accept that there was more in the world to accept that there are greater mysteries out there and that there was someone something out there that was aware of me and that cared about me and when I think about you know the amazing things that I've had the opportunity to do and the amazing places that I've gone and the amazing works that I have been a part of for me it is that sense of feeling that I was being guided but at the same time I was given choice that you know wherever this path would take me you know it was an invitation and so I began to focus on where that invitation was coming from where is it that I could tap into energy and you know it was the energy of everything around me and for some maybe it's all about sacred geometry and that is where the energy comes from for others it's the idea of uh, a particular god or goddess that is there and and supporting them for some it's just you know the earth itself as a consciousness the universe itself as a consciousness others believe in in you know established religions and and faiths whether that be Christian or Muslim or or Buddhist or or you know Sikh or or you know whatever um, you know it's there's a whole world of belief systems out there and even within each one everybody has their own unique relationship so this is about your relationship with whatever it is you resonate with and like I said this isn't about you know saying that that's necessary I'm saying that for me it is a part of tapping into more because then I don't live under the illusion that I have the capacity or the energy to bring all of that up to help the number of people I have to help on my own because I can't and I spent a lot of years doing that I spent a lot of years um, allowing my energy to go out and nourish people and yet I couldn't replenish it in that way and as I look now and and think about you know what is my feeling about the universe and what makes it go and you know what moves the seasons and you'll figure that out for yourself now there's a saying that you know it doesn't matter what you believe just believe in something and you believe in whatever it is you want to even if it's just straight science string theory quantum physics there is an amazing um, well it was a, I watched it as a video uh, it's a book by Bruce Lipton called the biology of belief and you know there's like DVDs of it and I would recommend looking that up because it is an amazing crossover between science and spirituality and you know whether the force is an act of physics and science or whether it's an act of magic it doesn't matter it just matters what's inside of you what do you believe what is your way maybe you believe something that no one else has discovered maybe you believe something that no one else has figured out whatever it is that works for you allow yourself to tap into that so that you can just kind of build up that energy inside you and bring it up and be able to do whatever it is you want because that energy as you draw it into yourself and then express it you are able to become a vessel for that energy you know, I I consider myself a good tube. Yeah, you know, and 
people will use the phrase powerful and I kind of shy away from that because I don't think of myself as powerful. I think of myself as a good tube. Um, if you want to get flowery with it, I am an adept conduit. But bottom line, it's being a good tube. Because that energy moves through. And that energy nurtures me. And it allows me to be able to do the things that I need to do. And at the same time, it can be worked with by me and sent out as an intention or as a thought or as a prayer or as, as you know, healing energy, whatever it is. Or if I want to find out something, you know, it's the Druidic tradition, which is something that I resonate with very much. I don't consider Druidry as a religion. I consider it as I practice it. I practice it as a vocation. And the idea that some people will, I mean, because it makes a beautiful spiritual practice. So go with that, if that works for you. Um, whatever it is you do that allows you to tap into those bigger energies, that's yours. And you enjoy it, you do what you want with it. So really what I want to do this month is to very gently and very respectfully explore the place of being more and connecting with more and exactly what that more is, what it means. Because what you may find is that whatever it is that you believe, that there's way more you can do with it. There's way more that you can tap into. And what that does is that that allows us to be able to work on a much, much bigger scale when we are a part of something bigger. And so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, teaching some meditations and uh, some other practices that aren't, you know, it doesn't have to be specific about who you're interacting with or what you're interacting with or how you, however you envision that that's yours, that belongs to you, no one will take it from you, and no one should. And when you're able to let the illusion of this separate physical form kind of fade back and allow your energy to go out and connect with that bigger energy, then that's when the really cool stuff starts that's when you're able to do way more than you ever dreamed possible. Because it's no longer just you. You're not alone. You are part of something so much bigger. And that bigger thing is just waiting for you to be able to recognize and connect with it. So, um... What we'll be doing is just kind of looking broad, very broadly at how spirituality, how our belief systems can enhance what it is we do when we are able to kind of weave them together. So uh, I will be, I'll be working this topic very carefully. It is my hope that there is you know, no point of, of offense for anyone. As I said, if there's anything I say that you maybe have a few questions about, um, please put it, you know, go in the comments. And, you know, it, it's because the comments are open because, you know, if you have a question about something, someone else probably does too. What I ask is that we keep it respectful. What I ask is that we keep it in a place of an opportunity for other share um, concepts and ideas and for those of you who you know may be posting in the on the Facebook page um, in the group uh, I ask that it stay respectful I know that this is a topic that can be challenging but the thing is if we don't do things or try things or challenge things that are in themselves challenging then we don't grow you know, you always have to kind of test that. It's not about not talking about things that might trigger someone. It's about an ability 
to acknowledge that, that that is a potential triggering thing, and create a dialogue about it that can be respectful where we actually grow. So uh, I look forward to this month. I look forward to the idea that um, we can go into this subject because the thing is we're going to go from here into healing. And, you know, I, I didn't know whether or not I wanted to go into the healing first or go into the spirituality aspect first. And I feel that this is a good foundation for the other because we're going to be tapping into this when we talk about things like Reiki where, you know, you move energy through you. So the idea of becoming familiar with and really being able to um, kind of, you know, partner with these energies, figuring out what those energies mean to you, will allow you to tap into them so much more effectively, and what you experience is going to be exponentially more amazing. So, um, thank you for joining me. Uh, if you like this video, then please uh, click the like button. If you find value in the channel, please subscribe. It's always great to see, you know, trying to grow this community and get it nice and big and, you know, so we can have wonderful ideas and exchanging stuff. You can share this video with someone who you feel might find value in it. If you'd like to support the channel in a bigger way, then uh, in the description there's a link to my Patreon account and you can become a patron of the channel. And you can also reach me through... Uh, Twitter, and the link for that is in the description, and each day I post a, you know, a thought in the morning, so if you're interested in, in, you know, maybe getting those on a regular basis, then just make sure you hit notifications, as when you subscribe, make sure you click the bell for notifications, so that way you always get notified whenever I'm uh, uploading something. You can visit my Facebook group, Medicine Walk with Dr. Eileen, and the link for that is available in the description. So, I hope that um, this subject is going to be interesting. I hope that it sparks thought and discussion, and I hope that if there is sort of a question of, you know, exactly what you believe, whatever you believe is fine. Don't feel you've got to lock yourself in or that you got, you know, I have my beliefs and my spirituality, you have yours, and both of those are great because yours are what motivates you. Yours create your connection. So whatever that connection is, whether it be from hard science to deep spirituality, you know, or deep faith, deep religion, Wherever you are on that spectrum, we can work with it, and it's going to be great. So, thank you for joining me, and until next time, and as always, I wish you balance, and I wish you blessings from my heart to yours. Love you. Class dismissed. See you next time. <laughs>